right? Yeah. Obviously, that's the last part of a thermodynamics question. So let's do this one here. Right? So two tubes are inserted into the fluid. Um, show that the velocity of the fluid at x is about two meters per second, right? So you're going to set up a what pressure one plus rho, or actually, let's say pressure at x, right? Rho g height at x. Uh, that's x, right? Plus one half rho v at x squared is going to equal pressure at y plus rho g h at y plus one half rho uh, v at y squared, right? Now, uh, the pressure is not the same because that's what's causing this difference in height, right? Uh, and so I'm going to say um, pressure at y minus pressure at x, which is going to be the, the pressure difference, right? The thing that's driving this fluid up, whatever this difference in height is, right? Evidently, that's 0.22 meters, right? Higher, right? That pressure difference is going to equal, and that, notice that they, they take great pains at saying that uh, the tubes are at the exact center, right? Which means that their heights are the same. And we're talking about the height of the fluid here and the height of the fluid here, okay? We're not talking about this fluid up there, although if I was smart enough, maybe there's a way to do that. I don't know. Okay. And then if you do this, this is going to equal um, the, uh, let's see, Py. So that's going to equal 1 half uh, rho Vx squared minus 1 half rho Vy squared, right? Okay. Well, hey, the velocity at y is 0, right? This is zero because when it hits this thing, it stops, right? Okay, so the difference in pressure is one half rho v x squared, whatever that velocity is, which evidently mean, we're trying to show that it's two, right? So that difference in pressure is that. Also, by the way, the difference in pressure, py minus px, is also equal to the difference in hydrostatic pressure that's happening here, right? So that's also equal to rho gh, right? Whatever the difference in the height is, and then evidently that's 0.22, right? So step one maybe is figure out what that difference in pressure is. So use what the density of the fluid in there, that's 9.81. The difference in height is 0.22 meters, right? Figure out what that difference in pressure is and then set that difference in pressure, that same difference in pressure equal to one half rho Vx squared and solve for V. It works. I got 2.08 meters per second uh, for my velocity, which is they're only using one sig fig, which is strange. But anyway, there you go. All right, and then in the next part, it says uh, estimate the Reynolds number, right, um, for this, right? Uh, the Reynolds number is, uh, for those that lack the ambition to look it up in the data packet, um, the Reynolds number, Reynolds number for R is uh, R uh, V, density. I think this might be the one where they did it wrong and then they give it as the first answer. So there's something I, I don't understand or they don't understand about Reynolds numbers, right? So um, this is your diameter. Uh, and I believe in this problem they actually use the diameter, which didn't make any sense to me um, in there. So anyway, take, take a look at the mark scheme. It's interesting. But they allow the, the use of the radius, right? So I put in 0.25. Um, I put in the velocity. I put in actually the, what the velocity actually is instead of exactly two, right? Um, but I think they probably use two. Uh, put in the density of the fluid, which is right there, right? And then put the uh, viscosity. They tell you the viscosity to put in, so put that in there. Um, you're going to get a number. Uh, remember when you outline whether your answer to A is valid, A is valid only if it's laminar flow. So that means the Reynolds number is less than a thousand, right? Um, this number it turns out to be well above a thousand, so basically our answer is just not valid. Which <laughs> then you're like, wait, why did I do this? Okay, um, but remember for Reynolds numbers, the the thresholds are that's the onset of turbulence. Ten thousand would we'd say without a doubt that that's a Reynolds number of ten thousand is is uh, definitely turbulent flow. So all this nice Bernoulli stuff doesn't work.